All right, this video is intended to be a quick little tutorial on how to improve your Ruger 1022 to reduce the noise and also uh, some of the vibration and recoil. Now I'm going to do that with this rod. You can buy replacement buffers. There is a steel buffer in the back of the receiver. You can buy replacement buffers, but some of them are low quality and they bend and are rubber and uh, will wear out. Some people try to use a nylon bolt for this, but it wears out also. This is a Delron 150 rod from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. This comes in about 12 inches long. I've already cut a little piece off of it. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, here's the product on Amazon, Delrin, I called it Delron, uh, Delrin Rod, Acetyl 150, quarter inch in diameter by one foot length. It's $5.07 on Amazon Prime, plus tax. So, uh, shipped fast, I got it within a couple days, uh, and um, this is literally all you need. Now, this rod is long enough for you to make one for just about everybody on your friend list who has a Ruger 1022. You want to take this band off. Slide that band off. And there is a bolt here in front of the magazine you'll need to unscrew also. Pardon the noise. With those two screws alone, you can separate the barrel receiver assembly from the wooden stock. I'm going to set the wooden stock aside. Now, this is the buffer um, pin. This is the buffer pin. I'm going to knock this out off camera with simply some little punch or uh, screwdriver. As you can see just a couple bumps and this thing slides right out. If you do it off the edge of the table, it falls right out on the floor. I'm not even going to go look for it. I changed my mind. I did go look for it because I'm going to need to measure I'm going to need to measure and cut a piece of this the same size. So we'll go out to the shop, put this piece of Delron in the vise, and cut a piece off with a coping saw. So now I've got this Delron rod cut and sanded to the same length. I'm going to just slide it in the hole. Now I've tapped that in there to make it flush. Now this Delron is a slightly larger diameter than the original pin, so um, it's going to fit tight where this would just slide out easily. So there's your only difference. This is, it, it will shrink and slide in though because it's a polymer. So now all we're going to do is reassemble the barrel receiver assembly back into the wooden stock. So what you're going to notice now is a lot less vibration when the bolt comes back, a lot less noise. And if you're using a suppressor on your 22, then you're going to hear a lot less noise. I hope you like this video and find it useful. This is something that you can do on your own. It doesn't take anything but a regular screwdriver and uh, about six dollars and uh, something to cut it with just a simple saw hand saw hacksaw uh, knife will do it if you're patient enough and a little bit of sandpaper or something to smooth the end off so this is not out of the scope of anyone's ability if you like this sort of content please like and subscribe and don't forget to click that bell for notifications when we got a new video out thanks